chapter 1 nutrition in plants so first of all what do you mean by nutrition the mode of uh, taking food by organisms that's what we mean by nutrition because we uh, all organisms including us human beings we eat food regularly then only we'll be able to survive because without food no organism will be able to survive the five major components of food are carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals the food components which are necessary for the efficient functioning of organisms are called nutrients plants can make their own food but animals including us human beings cannot make our own food so that's why all animals either directly or indirectly depend on plants and likewise animals are also very important for plants so in one way plants and animals they perfectly complement each other so now we'll discuss the mode of nutrition in plants in detail plants take in water carbon dioxide and minerals from the surrounding environments and in the presence of sunlight and the green pigment chlorophyll they make or they produce their own food and they release oxygen as a byproduct which is absolutely essential for all the animals because all animals all living organisms especially animals breathe inside oxygen and give away carbon dioxide so nutrition is the mode of taking food by an organism and its utilization by the bodies of the organisms there are many modes of nutrition let's discuss about autotrophic nutrition so plants can produce their own food completely independently so that's why this mode of nutrition is known as autotrophic nutrition and uh, the organisms performing this kind of nutrition are known as autotrophs there are certain plants which don't have the green pigment uh, chlorophyll and uh, therefore they are unable to perform uh, photosynthesis so those were those kind of plants they they follow different modes of nutrition which we'll study later in this chapter then uh, we come to another mode of nutrition known as the heterotrophic nutrition when animals depend on plants either directly or indirectly this mode of nutrition is known as heterotrophic nutrition for example uh, there are many animals like cows buffaloes goats horses so these animals they directly eat plants like in the form of grasses small plants herbs so these plants they consume directly so that's why these uh, kind of animals they are known as herbivores and there are certain certain animals which they don't eat uh, plants directly however they consume these animals like uh, like say we we have uh, animals like tiger lion these animals they don't eat uh, plants directly however they they eat these animals which eat plants so that's why even they are consuming plants indirectly by eating those animals like cows and buffaloes and goats sheep etc so that's why these animals are known as carnivores and there are certain animals like bear uh, crow and uh, including us human beings uh, who eat both plants and animals so that's why we are these animals are known as omnivores so now we'll proceed further with this topic photosynthesis food making process in plants so photosynthesis occurs in the leaves of the plants in the leaves of the green plants so the leaves are the food factories of the plants uh, if you look carefully at the leaves of the plants under the microscope you will find a lot of minute pores millions and millions of minute pores guarded by certain cells known as the guard cells they are also known as stomata through these minute pores called stomata the exchange of gases takes place like the carbon dioxide is taken inside by the plants and oxygen is given out by the plant leaves to be exactly specific so in this way photosynthesis occurs there's a very important chemical which is known as a uh, pigment it is green in color so that's why it's known as a green pigment chlorophyll so in the presence of this green pigment chlorophyll photosynthesis occurs during sunlight so we can say in other words that the sun is the ultimate source of energy for all living organisms because photosynthesis occurs during daytime during sunlight so life would be impossible on the earth in the absence of photosynthesis so chemically we can uh, we can write this chemical equation of photosynthesis in this form carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of sunlight and the green pigment chlorophyll will give you carbohydrate plus oxygen because carbohydrate is the food and oxygen is the byproduct which is released by the plants so that the animals can utilize the oxygen gas there are certain other uh, organisms very similar to plants like algae so even algae can do photosynthesis because even they have the green pigment chlorophyll so algae are the slimy green patches in ponds and other stagnant water bodies which we can see quite often uh, in ponds and lakes 
Now there's a very important note. Plants can also synthesize components of food other than carbohydrates such as proteins and fats by absorbing them from the ground in soluble forms. 